Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BOI Weekly. I'm Ini John Mekwa. Well, we're here again to bring you updates on the activities of the Bank of Industry on this week's edition of BOI Weekly. Now, there are some materials in manufacturing and packaging which may seem minute but cannot be overlooked. One of such as SACS. After taking a close look at the industry, Mr. Kabiru Musa Adamu saw a gap and knew that it will serve the need of manufacturers. And so he started BBY Super Sacks in Kano State. Worried by the absence of local manufacturers and the scarcity of quality sacks in the country, Mr. Kabiru Adamu, whose idea of becoming a manufacturer started in 2008, ventured into the business of manufacturing sacks. The idea was actually conceptualized between 2007 and 2008 but became a reality in 2010 when BBY Super Sacks rolled out its first set of sacks in the Asian city of Kano. With an imposing edifice in the heart of the state, the managing director of BBY Super Sacks takes us down memory lane as he narrates how the company came into being. We started our company in 2010. Uh, the idea of uh, opening Sachs company came around 2007-2008 when there is a scarcity of Sachs and uh, there is no any uh, local company. We have companies who are producing Sachs in, in, in Kano but most of them they, are, they belong to foreigners so there is no any local person who is producing Sachs at that time. So when we started uh, uh, there was uh, another company that came, but unfortunately the company did not last long and stopped. So we, now we are operating for almost uh, 11 years. We started in 20, ending 2010, we started in 2011. The facility, which sits on a large expanse of land in Kano, is a major hub for production of quality and highly durable sacks. With sophisticated equipment, Channel's television crew embarks on a tour of the facility to witness the production process as raw materials are transformed from their virgin state to a variety of super sacks. For the management of BBY Super Sachs Limited, the 50 million naira intervention by the Bank of Industry is a lifesaver as it has propelled the company from its status as a struggling manufacturer to a market leader. Yeah, actually when we started, uh, we started in a situation whereby we only spent one good year, then the issue of security, insecurity came to Nigeria because we started 2010 and that's time Boko Haram started. So the first year was okay, but the second year was very terrible. You cannot even 
do your business okay, but we managed to up to 2013. We ordered our the second batch of our machines arrived because we are just a new company, so we installed them. By 2015, so we see that we have to have uh, an in intervention that will help us to be doing our, our business more flexible and uh, to compete with other companies because most of our competitors, they are in the sax business for minimum at that time, 20 years. Some of them were around 40 years at that time. Now, some of them are about 50 years, some 30, and we are just 11 years. So we see, in order to compete with them, they know the market very well, and they are in the business for long. We have to have a good uh, capital at our hand. And uh, always, if you want to do business, you have to know how to use another money, another somebody's money to get profit. So the idea of uh, to get intervention came. So we started looking up uh, which bank shall we go. So we contacted some commercial banks, but when we look at their package, actually it is not favorable to do business. Then we contacted BUI. When we contacted BUI, because it's our first uh, time to even uh, get any intervention, so we are new. So, thank God at that time, Kano State and BOI, they come with one package which they join to help some businesses. So, at that time, we collected our first intervention from BOI. We applied for 50 million and we get it after, like in one year, we get the, the disbursement. So, we started. When we started, we finish it in around, the fact is, two, is three years. We finish it successfully, there's no, nothing. Then again, we see that we are becoming uh, more bigger and we are extending our businesses to other parts. So we need more. So again, we started with other banks, these Islamic banks, which we are, they are buying material for us and we are paying them back. So we say we need some huge and reliable money that maybe will last longer in order to do your business successfully. So again, BOI came to us and said, you do the first one and you are okay, and we are happy with the way you do your business. Why not go for the second one? So we say, okay, let's go. So the second one, we applied. All, uh, all like the first one, within six months from the application, we get our disbursement of 500 million naira. And that, that was uh, uh, on, in, 20, in 2020. In 2020. So it is now it's around uh, nine months. We are in our moratorium period right now. And uh, so far, so good, we already double our capacity. Because before we are producing only 10 tons, now we order machine that will produce another 10 tons, complete line from Estuda to Looms to combustion line, complete line. So it's just like we open another company with the same capacity right now. From a 50 million Naira initial intervention, BBY SuperSax Limited soon secured another loan facility of 500 million Naira from the Bank of Industry after offsetting the initial 50 million naira. The managing director of the company explains what the loan facility was used for.
This intervention of 500 million naira, specifically we bought new line, we bought new machines, complete, like we opened another new company. We bought Estruda, we bought Etilums, and we bought uh, two combustion machines. So, and some, and uh, we bought uh, uh, transformers and generators. We, like we bought another company, and it's going to, we're going to employ a minimum of 100 staffs when the machines reach the company right now. And now we have the, before we started with only 120 staffs, now we have, when, before we get the first intervention, we have 300 workers. When we get the first intervention, uh, after we bought some recycling machine and uh, polytwine, so we add around 70 to 80 workers, and plus some other helping workers, which is almost around 100 workers, will become around 400. So now when this machine arrives, already the machine now, they are in fort, we are clearing them. By next week, they will be in the company. We are going to employ 110 to 20 workers more. From a modest beginning, it has now grown to attract businesses even from the outside the shores of Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, Niger, and some parts of Burkina Faso. Now it's all thanks to two interventions from the Bank of Industry. With high demand for quality sacks within and outside Nigeria, the managing director continues his explanation on the production process. After this, the second one, our position is high because now what about, what, what, what about kind of turnover we are doing is going to be multiplied. And the, the area that we are covering, we are going to extend it actually. Because right now, we are, we are, we are, we, we are dealing with uh, Nigerian business, Nigerian customers, Cameroon, Chad, Niger, and some part of Burkina Faso also. And uh, right now, we are the, our, our twine is the best twine in the eastern part of Nigeria. All the people our twine is, is cast, then they will buy another one. But right now, we donated that area totally. And here in Kano also, we have a very good uh, position in the market. Actually, right now, the challenges that we are facing, it is, uh, you can take it into two ways. One is the electricity. Actually, the electricity, the tariff, we have some tariff differentiation between the northern part of the Nigeria and the southern part of the Nigeria. Because in the northern part of Nigeria, we are paying around 70.14 Naira per unit. And in the southern part of the country, they are paying 50 Naira, which there is a difference of 20 Naira. This 20 Naira is a huge amount because if, let's say, I'm consuming, let's say, 200,000 units per month, I'm producing sacks in Kano with the same capacity. If there is another company in the southern part which is the same capacity with me, and he's also producing uh sucks so he's going to pay less around five to ten million naira every month in electricity so it is very very difficult to compete right now with your with your power with your competitors in the south but thank god because of some other advantages that we have here in this north we we have population and uh, we have other borders that are coming to Nigeria to rule the north, so we have that advantage over them. But if not because of that, you cannot even compete with those who are in the southern part of the country. But now we are in a good position because most of the 
African countries, they depend on Nigeria to get their inputs. And uh, most of them who have borders with the northern part of Nigeria, they're getting their goods from the northern part of Nigeria. So even if you are in producing the south, you have to ship it to the north, then from the north, then you put it, you ship it to the, some other countries. Unlike us that we are in the north, you just ship it to uh, the neighboring countries. So that, that, com that advantage is there and it has to stand. So that's the best way. But the issue is, if this electricity, electricity differentiation is not being resolved, the, those who are producing in the northern part of the country will be, will be suffering, actually. As the company continues to work stronger with the support of the Bank of Industry, which provided an additional 500 million Naira loan facility, the managing director shares his thoughts on the future of the company as it makes some positive projections. Yeah, actually, when I came to, into this uh, business, manufacturing business, uh, you know, you have to make a research and see who are your partners in your business, from the service providers to your supplier, to the customers, and even the government agencies, and see who and who you're supposed to be interacting and getting permission and uh, authority from them. So from there, I know BOI. When I go to BOI, then I realized that I know some people in BOI, which has become more easier for me to interact with them. And actually, they are good people in BOI because always when you go there, they respect you and you can get what you want from BOI. He also speaks on the challenges of being a manufacturer in Nigeria. He, however, encourages young entrepreneurs to approach the bank of industry in order to get their businesses to the next level. But actually, I'm not giving advice to young entrepreneurs. I always give advice to BOI. Always, when I have uh, interaction with either their staffs or their management. Because there's one issue, for the entrepreneurs to access BOI, it is, it is somehow more difficult than those who are already in the business. Because to access the money, sometimes it's because, because most of them, they are new. They don't know what are the procedures to even access the money. So it's becoming difficult for them. They need more awareness, the entrepreneurs, and the BOI has to, do, has to work more to guide them how to access the money first. The second, maybe there is a need for BOI also to at least see how to simplify some issue for them in order for them to become on board. These are my two advice. The advice is somehow like hard, but that's the fact. Both we have, we have to do what, both we have to have something from BUI and also something to the entrepreneurs. BUI has to give them awareness and they simplify some things for them to come on board. Those who are coming from entrepreneurs, they have to acquire the knowledge and know how to do their business and how to even get the uh, intervention from BUI. So actually, it is just two two simple things. One, you must become a trustworthy. Second, you must be patient. These two things, they are the one that, like they are the wheels that are taking you to where you want to become. If actually you cannot get any intervention and use it for the purpose you, you collected the money. Maybe if you, you just you apply for money to buy a machine, buy a machine. If you apply, if you apply money to buy a, a, a working capital, use it as working capital. Don't take money for purpose and use it for another purpose. Maybe you take money, maybe you're going to do manufacturing, but you take it to maybe either trading or something like that. Definitely you're going to have some issue. That's my advice to them. Always, always keep your ambition. If you plan something, stick to your plan and achieve it. Yeah, I, I have, <laughs> I cannot even explain or say words of appreciation to BUI because whatever we need from BUI, we get it and we are getting. And we have a good relationship with BUI. And we also, we are trying our best to see that we keep that relationship in a good health. And actually, actually, I'm always praying for BUI to become 
more and more more uh, to get more strength. The impact of Bank of Industries intervention on BBY SuperSax Limited is tremendous. BBY SuperSax Limited attests to the fact that with the support of the Bank of Industry, partners and other service providers in the sector, the business has been enjoying growth as well as meeting the yearnings of Nigerians. And that's the story for this episode of BOI Weekly. More interventions and support awaits entrepreneurs and potential businesses. Please reach out to the Bank of Industry for your share of the intervention. Uh, you can reach out through their branches, any of them closest to you, or log on to their website, boi.ng. I'm Ine John Mekwa.